Hoffman, the CEO of the Teak Foundation, coming to you live from the Academy here in Colorado Springs. With me is Ellis. Ellis is a new uh, individual that has come to us through the long application process to be a graduate of the Teak Leadership Academy. Ellis, tell me a little bit about how you went about applying and why did you apply? What, what attracted you to come to this academy? Well, what initially attracted me was just the word of mouth passed down from my older brothers and especially one of my you learned so far. Well, I really learned a lot about myself as a leader. At first, I really kind of wanted to figure some figure things out for myself so then how I can take that into my chapter and be a better Preetness, be a better leader, and just be a better example for others. Uh, I really wanted to improve just some of the leadership skills that I had. I wanted to be a little more patient with others, understanding, open-minded, and uh, I just wanted to just take a new approach to things, and I think throughout the 48 hours we've been here, that's really had a significant impact on me. So what have, what have you learned from staying the night in a cabin? Mm -hmm. Are you in a, a, tell me about that, how did that go? So, so, chapter houses, our school simply doesn't allow it, and I have an apartment with three of my closest fraternity brothers, and it, it just reminds me like home a little bit, and that brings just a sense of comfort to being all the way out here in uh, Colorado, compared to if I was back in Indy. And it's just, I don't know, it's a sense of comfort and togetherness with your brothers. So what do you expect to learn in the next couple of days? What are your hopes? What are your dreams? What, what, what have you really thought that you're going to be able to take home to your chapter? Um, just how to better the culture. <clears throat> and that's something I especially learned today was just bettering the culture, establishing the culture. And it's something I think I can really take forward to the chapter this coming summer and going into the fall and from here on out. And it's something that I think can just always be improved and just really working on maintaining the chapter in a positive atmosphere in your your environment. So what do you have to say to all the funders that are out there that are funding the Teak Leadership Academy and Elmer Smith's match? What do you have to say to those folks? Thank you is simply not enough. Um, what you guys do here for us is immeasurable. It's invaluable and it's just everything that we truly want to aspire to be to. It's just lessons and workshops and countless other like super meaningful activities that will help us sooner or later i think you can see the talent that this leadership academy brings so to all of the donors that are out there for the teak leadership academy for our foundation thank you so much for your generosity and your support please keep that coming and we'll be back with you uh, tomorrow at another segment thank you so much have a good evening